Hello and welcome to the second to last match of Roulette Rivals 11, the loses bracket final between Scruffy and the Time Cube. One of these two players are just six points away from their first ever RR Grand Final, and Fadium is waiting in a Venus bracket for one of them. And we will start in Dartmoor in just three minutes, and I'm joined by GK Punk. Hello, welcome. Hello, hello, how's it going, everybody? Ah, I, I knew that your uh, voice would be loud compared to my silent setup, but I think I grabbed it in the right moment, so let, let me just know if the sound levels are balanced. Um, let me just, shall we just look at the brackets quickly? As we still have two and a half minutes to just uh, show their route to this, I guess, semi-final or final match of the lower bracket, if you will. Uh, first up we have Scruffy from the bottom half of the winner's bracket. You can see that uh, he started in round 2 against Channel Reindeer, got the sweep, and then Joker, it's a 7-1, that's an action 3-0. Uh, then Ducker in round 4, and his third match I guess, to put him to the semi-finals where he beat the Reaper 47. And then of course he lost to Fanium, which brought him down to the lower bracket. Uh, meanwhile, the time cube right up there uh, in the top left corner started against the win, started with a win against Yanini, 6 to 2. And then he got an early loss against Mika, which, uh, I can interact here quickly, uh, he got the revenge for uh, quite a few matches later because we can see. Uh, yeah, I can't really highlight the, the name there, but. Uh, that uh, brought him all the way down to lose, lose bracket round 3, and then he got on a roll against Ashton, Effie, Channel Joint, myself, Sweep against Mika for that revenge, and then last night against the Reaper 47 to put him back to the top 3 like he did in the World Championship. Yeah, he beat Yanini and took that LB Yanini thing and just ran with it. It's, it's LB time cube. So. Yeah, I, I guess that will yeah, be a thing yeah. now with uh, all the matches he's won. I think that's five or six. Uh, I didn't even count. So you see if he can make it one more to face Fairham in that final for the seconds until the first spin, which is Dartmoor chosen by Scruffy. Unsurprising ban on his side, Isle of Scale. I think Time Cube is known as a very prolific scale player, and uh, most people banned it against him with the time cube choosing Bangkok that uh, didn't really feel like a scruffy map but if you are deep in the lower bracket you are running out of the map picks and bands and it might just be a good one against scruffy yeah definitely i i think uh time cube also had like a like you said running out of maps so you just do throw away bands because he picked a map and then banned it or the other way around he banned the map and picked it the next time so I think that's just the strategy as the spin arrives with Alexa Carlisle in the melee hatchet as the gardener. Live kill uh, is the one which we are starting this match with. <laughs> Load in time, it's very useful. Uh, advised by Joker, the top Dartmoor player. And Scruffy is the first one to load in. Time cube a couple of seconds behind, and time cube the quick replant. It could be important. Yeah, Dartmoor is so fast, and I think Time Cube is one and three in Dartmoor. Of, of course, Scruffy doesn't have any wins at all, but I guess it depends on the proficiency, how practiced you are, and loading time aside, Scruffy looks very proficient so far. It's at least thirty seconds of in-game time, and the chat was very exciting there for a second, and I was sold sorta of by that because the time cube had the breacher and it could have been with that loadout of hatchet launch. Oh. But it was a full <laughs> yeah. replan sadly and the time cube is very much behind Scruffy if he first tried this one then no doubt he wins the map. Yeah, and no problems in the pretty tight execution of this same script that you run on Dartmoor for probably 70% of the spins. Yep, it was the fast forward start with the double trank and the Ambrose grenade to make Carlisle slick, seek rather, and then, well, the hatchet always fit in the briefcase, but 
good to have it in hand and uh, Scruffy will have more than enough time. Of course, it's 60 seconds for the puking time for any target in Hitman. But the map is so small that uh, you can really bring any item nearby. I think just we are going to see a gun flash and then a silent termination. No? no I guess he hasn't gone for the Rebecca. Oh, she's not here. That's gonna throw a wrench in his plans. A little whoosh there by the guard and... I think it was also Rebecca where time cube ripped because we had one more restart there. Uh, another restart there. from time cube. That that gardener pickup can be uh, finicky if you don't get it right. Yeah, I don't think there's. Oh, miss shot! Grabs. Oh my god! Yeah, not so that's everything for Scruffy done. He's not happy, but a 2.15-ish yeah. first try, we we'll take this map, there's the finish, there's the two, first two points, no photo finish, despite probably most players, most viewers expecting one. Yeah, for 47 seconds, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, there are some spins, some speed runs you can do in 47 seconds, it's but a, not this kind. It's a really devastating start for Time Q, but it's exactly what happened the, uh, yesterday with Haven. He couldn't get started, and he won that match, so Score he's definitely not out to two. Uh, in terms of mentality. And going into his own map pick might be more confident. Yeah, I would think a longer back and forth game with feature or preferred Time Q, with probably more experience in longer matches. Scruffy may just be the one really quick, but if it's not first try, if it, if it doesn't look like a sweep, then he could feel like getting in trouble. Scruffy, I think, only dropped a maximum of one map in his winner's bracket rounds, or just tied the yeah. more against Joker until that sweep against, or sort of sweep against Fabian, because it's the 7-1. Seven, I think, well, I... I, I do like to spoil the maps I, there, there used to be like a bigger deal about not spoiling the maps but i i do too because you can talk about it makes them whole you can like lay out the whole match and how we could you know talk about the whole thing could go yeah I, I <laughs> plus think... you should read the channels <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah just uh we, we, we won't talk much about those maps but uh, we, we I, I think it matters here because mendoza does feel like the longest map of this map pool we are going to have Hokkaido and Dubai after this, and the potential Ambrose Island map 5, which uh, I think people have figured out good enough, that unless it's a really difficult accident, heavy spin, and should be faster than Mendoza. So I think against a really quick, solid player like Scruffy, this might be Time Q's best chance. And if Scruffy gets a 4 0 lead, I don't really see a way out for Time Q. Yeah. Yeah, that will be difficult going into a medium leaning towards a small map of Hokkaido to save your tournament. Yeah, on the other hand, I think it's if it's 2-2 two to two and both players taking their own map picks, then just down to these quick maps, but nerves are definitely high. Uh, they are not in practice uh, with their last match being... Uh, with the last match being 20 hours ago, eh? 20 hours ago. And I think I've read from both of them that they could actually practice Understandably, since the match has been scheduled. It's probably just a... Yeah, this can be fun. Oh, though no, no practice ones. Uh, I don't know, as a player, sometimes you might also feel a little confident, depending on how confident you are that, oh yeah, he didn't get much practice, but I think I'm good. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to gauge. Would they feel comfortable, or just uncomfortable. I, I, I always need my couple hours of practice, which <laughs> makes me a really bad casual player because it's just impossible for me to, to not prep at least a bit. But uh, I think this late in a row bracket, that's kind of part of the game. You can't really make the journey one more week longer, but it sometimes feels like that these last matches just so close to each other. And yet this is the only thing that's happening in the tournament. So of course, people are hungry for more. Yeah, and the intensity of the match always increases towards the end, so you're like, I want more of those matches. Yeah, and everyone just waiting for the one of the day, and uh, <laughs> this time around, with uh, the <laughs> yeah. American uh, 
dominance this tournament was at the high profile hey, it only took night. four years <laughs> patience have been uh, worth it and agent now, get ready dual starts in now, 10 seconds of course seconds. there's a good chance that uh, between him winning the first regular R of the year either him or of course time cube me the majority of the players from the us could take it home there again but here's the second spin of the day Don Yates, Fire X, as Providence Herald and Tamara Vidal explosion accident ensued. Uh, pretty pretty good spin, I guess, for Mendoza. Nothing complicated. Not too fast, but so the setup makes it not too slow either. I don't think a lot of approaches are viable here, and Time Cube is looking for that shrine start. Which is the suit start, one of the most important suit starts, and of course the propane flask is right behind here. Yeah, definitely that's something to think about. Scruffy is gonna go for the tried and tested waiter. Obviously, the other propane in the theater room. And I guess you can do drive by immediate restart though, so nice time cube stream is actually frozen for me. <laughs> oh no, uh, let me just share my point of view and then we can be hopefully on the same page. I think I got the same uh, thing that people were having before where the stream's just frozen or laggy on OBS. Yeah, it just killed so many streams in the past or made it unwatchable. So far so good here, but uh, there's anything like a good shoutcaster jinx, then this might be one. Time cube with 30 second advantage in game time wise and I think it's a really good thought or concept at least the drive by here uh, you would have to leave here with the trespass in disguise but i don't think that's an awfully hard thing to do oh no definitely and the other important thing is having dawn secured because once he's out of the house it's pain in the neck i suppose with this first approach by scruffy uh waiter start very quick tomorrow i so you would hope to get the Herald in time, but I'm not oh. sure if you can line it with the Fire X. So going for the KO on the stairs when Mike Tyson punch out. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just the most ridiculous part of the game, and there are, of course, many. If you are just one step uh, out of elevation with the NPC, you just have to punch him. Yeah, yeah sort of good a progress made by Scruffy or Time Cube. Tamara is well ahead here. Okay, here for the. Ooh, that's hmm, not in that range. That seems kind of far. No, that's a KO. Oh man, that was way too far. He was trying to compensate for the breaching charge, but that's way too far. So many things running through Time Cube's mind. Uh, I, I can imagine most of them because. Uh, Tamara was so close to other NPCs, of course you don't have to drop the Breacher and the Propane Flask right next to her because that would likely cause an on-target kill. And of course you don't know if uh, the reception desk is, uh, you know, absorbs the explosion or anything like that, so time you just went far away from her as seemed realistic, but then uh, after dropping the Breaching Charge with the NPCs reacting to it, you would soon get compromised. So time to get yes. to take chance at it, and it just wasn't to be. Yeah, that was kind of a rock and a hard place, nowhere to go, because you can't go back and pick up that breaching charge, because then you'll get spotted for doing something illegal. Yeah, exactly. Had to try it, and <laughs> she heard with the comment, uh, he got the C4 range on his mind. Uh, that was another uh, infamous map for Time Cube with the. Uh, C4 killing, I think, one more NPC in Berlin, in that Berlin decider, but uh, at that time, the restart still caused him to win the map, so it's not over for time. Cuban Scruffy only has a 40 second lead. Scruffy's going for a, a safe approach here, going for the Seeker on tomorrow to set up. Do you have a Taser? Oh, why does he have... Oh, <laughs> it's the trespassing thing kicked in. I think that's the kind of exclamation point which 
which will be forever red, but I guess we'll see for Scruffy, who is, of course, uh, compromised by Don already, so we won't know for, for long, but I wouldn't be surprised if Scruffy ripped here. Because it's... Lord left now. Yeah, the guard is gone. Just, Time Q gets care. the kill. Scruffy, the setup. I think Time Cube is still in the lead despite the in-game time disadvantage, and I, I, I'm just really not sure if Scruffy uh, will recover to green guns. And there's a pause, I think, for the Fire Axe. Now, please. Tell me you didn't I think the most viable one isn't far away from the free wetsuit. Of course, different kills, but Hello, probably day. try to make it win one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's right down here, I think. Yeah, right by the two guards, actually. They are no problem when you are not just passing. The enforcer dots are easy to dodge. Of course, if it turned into a peekaboo, then you would be in trouble. And I think Scruffy will just transport the Fire X near dawn and then go for the Herald separate. With the same disguise which time Coop just got. Oh, oh my man. god. Just went for the bump <laughs> there. Just playing with some fire. Thank you. Went for the <laughs> craziest approach there. The most risky one, I feel. Yeah, definitely. Because I thought he was just going to toss the bottle, which is the safest thing you can possibly do with the throne distraction like that. I also thought it would be throne or oh, then a silent shot? KO or punch. One oh. chunk missed, but I think one is enough to clear this area. Yes. Of course, you can always mess with the map to make certain NPCs move, but I think it's only the Somalia who would go here, not even head of security. Yeah, and that actually or... makes it kind of worse because they become highly alert and try to frisk you in the checkpoint. Not yeah. that they're not already highly alerted. If you just go there, they spot you pretty easily. Right, so I think until that happens, of course, time is very far away from any of those triggers to happen. I think time should be fine. And one kill down, the second one is close. If he can put the fire axe up there, that oh, did go. Yeah, this is a. It's also not good enough. Vertical capability for forty-seven isn't uh, very good. Of course, this one you also have to do it from third-person view, which just makes it all the more awkward. But no NPCs alert nearby and time could be get the second kill. I'm not sure about his exit disguise, but he's comfortable with the double shot panic. Considering just... how he's playing, he might just do something crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's not gonna bother trying to get a mercenary. Yep. One more NPC there, and I think the last obstacle for time is if any of the mercenaries turn around there from the freeze point, but that didn't happen, and time can ties it up. Two to two. Very nice. Just under five minutes there. Oh, well, oh, photo finish. Scruffy. We, yeah, we didn't quite. Also finished. <laughs> talk about I know. About Scruffy. The action. <laughs> it, it seemed like he caught up really fast there. That uh, obviously helped with Tamara being prepped with uh, in the bathroom. Yeah, and also proving me wrong because those red guns were salvageable in the end. Mm, I don't think it's the most obvious photo finish. I would guess it's 15 to 20 seconds. But PC versus PC, second try versus second try. Oh, 15 seconds. That's deceptively long. It didn't feel that long. I could give it a refresh to these players since we don't have a app going on. I'll... I've been lucky with the ads. I'll just buy the bullet. I think they're both non affiliates, so it's luckily not a problem that. But I've had the streams just be frozen or laggy altogether. Right. We could have Fenium versus Throat here, the new affiliate versus the partner, and we would <laughs> have. Uh, Adverts interrupted by occasional gameplay. Maybe, yeah, we should 
buy some ad space and put gameplay in there so it plays gameplay as ads. <laughs> Gotta watch out for the three percent uh, size restriction. Oh right, yeah. It our logo is too big, man. You gotta. Love it. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> our stats can't be partners anymore because it counts as sponsoring. Yeah, sponsoring for zero dollars a second. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Scruffy did officially yeah. evade it though, and uh, I think the ping to Chris came just a bit too late, and uh, Chris is a quick hard worker anyway, so we might see the numbers either way. Nope, he won't. It's a wave and two to two. Score two to two. It definitely was a bit too close for comfort, but time cube. Uh, well, I guess he got the overtake. If uh, I want to use the exact terminology, because he had a sub five and Scruffy only had a quick replay at the start. And had a 540 something second try. Very solid approach. Yeah, I think sides. he just had the advantage overall. Well, I'm not sure who will have the advantage starting in these RNG maps because but the numbers. <laughs> this is both of their second tournaments, so I understand they've not a lot of numbers. Bit more experience for Time Cube, whose one tourney has been the World Championship, of course, with the guaranteed seven maps, uh, seven matches, fourteen maps. Yeah, and the dude made it all the way to third place, so he played deep into the tournament. And lots of maps there. I'm I, curious, I know Hokkaido uh, and me and Time Cube gives me nightmares because I had the biggest choke in that match. <laughs> oh, I I can see now. I, I, the, the 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 taser guard thing. Oh my god, that will haunt me for the rest of my life. I can only see it on our stats that it was a map number five. You against time cube for round four. Yeah, and then did the time cube win. I assume it was an electrocution or explosion. Yeah, something. electrocution and um, taser uh, t taser spotting bug where you know you press it sometimes everybody becomes an enforcer uh, it's I, one of the most bs unfair way of just losing a match <laughs> but it's it's nothing i'm not used to it happened to me in the same match i think or match i forget in berlin like i said uh i've never had florida men teleport and i probably have multiple hundred hours in berlin and that's the time it has to happen. Florida man always knows when someone has a high blood pressure I know. or stressed about the matches and then he will always yeah. strike. Yeah. I don't know if you saw the Florida man antics I had in uh, Freelance or something. <laughs> I honestly can't picture it anymore, but I, th I think I did watch it uh, when it was out. As for our 11 stats for time, uh, I was just looking up uh, time's experience. This is his 22nd match, only his, only his second tourney. So yeah, two deep runs that does the two. I guess quickly for yeah. Scruffy. And this is 10th for him. Six wins and three losses. Right, his first tourney wasn't as long, four matches, two wins, two losses. But uh, of course now, a much longer winning streak in RR11 and the guaranteed top three finish. Agent get ready. Can be top two or of course Dual the win. In ten seconds. And it will be four points for one of these players to take for a very final. crucial map. This. Oh, nin ninja <laughs> assault rifle for Eric Soder's Yuki with an injected as the surgeon. What? <laughs> to uh, hello, annoying disguises. Well. uh... <laughs> They're yeah. both starting disguises, but you can't get a ninja, so you're kind of forced. <laughs> your, your starting disguise is forced, but uh, I think, yeah, this is one of those combinations. I think Ninja Surgeon and Ninja Chief Surgeon are the two which you just dread to get. Maybe Chief Surgeon, Regular Surgeon is the other. Very just, I mean, I was always of the opinion that 
if there are like hundreds of disguise combinations, I really don't want to practice one of them. But uh, this would be the time for this practice to work out, and I'm curious to see how they get the surgeon. Yeah, me too. I would, in, in my view, surgeons more annoying because they don't move much. The the only reasonable one I could think of is the is the guy who fixes his portman up, uh, removes the bandages and stuff. Oh yeah, the guy who got taken out and put back in the game. <laughs> Right, he, he was a doctor for a while. Yeah. And then back to surgeon. Only for, obviously, I, for I guess he lost talents. his uh, surgeon's license or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had to be, had to be renewed. Uh, but it's not the strictly only way, I think, to get Whoa. a surgeon, because there have been a wall bang. Scruff. Which is what Scruffy will do now. Oh, for the, the surgeon? I honestly I think that was the chief surgeon he got, but that we'll definitely get a surgeon. And this Oh nice. Alright. Restart the there one. from time cube. Just uh to... Oh my god, Scruffy the Stairmaster. Part two of the GIF. Like this. Ah, in this excitement we also missed the time cube creep. Uh, it was very similar until the bodyguard was hidden, so I'm not sure if time was going for uh, the same surgeon warbang or just got caught by someone else. I, I'm honestly curious how you will salvage this disguise though. Like, you get the warbang and you get the surgeon moving upstairs after all, because you've seen him go up and down. So is it just a KO or a push? I, I think that's what he was trying to do is like that push from that little flat part of the railing and that's the little mistiming of the X-Press causes the karate chop. Yeah, I, I would say as well, I'm half sure that it said push eliminate, so I'm just, that, that's my only worry about. Oh, it said eliminate. I saw the push. I didn't see the bottom part. That's going to be a, a rough realization if that's the plan. It was just a split second thing and time and Scruffy basically doing the same thing. Time has a f floating... Uh, what's that? The key hacker? The key hacker. <laughs> yeah, the companion for this map. <laughs> Yeah, if you're playing a near automata. <laughs> Ooh, this one's called in okay, to the guard. It's going to make it very difficult. Well, he called in the fire pole? Is there a gun there? What is I, happening? I think just a regular disguise. A uh, regular throne distraction. Uh, no issues for Scruffy. Oh, there is. a disguise. Yeah. Not sure what time keeps plan here is. Right, There's because... Kill. You can't actually do the same bullet distraction anymore. Yeah, you have to wait for a little bit for that to wear off. The the one saving grace for time is I think this is Sono at this point for both of them. And time still has a 14-15 second game time advantage. And I think time is counting down from our long he thinks 30, 60 or 90 seconds uh, gets the distraction, no panic. Yeah, that's that's good at least. Uh, lots of waiting time, I guess, for Scruffy here. Let's prep, prep the sauna though. And with the bodyguard taken care of, this is a much easier grab for Time Cube, who still has one more minute to get there. And uh, on this level, you don't really need to temper with anything uh, in terms of the sauna. Uh, nothing to prepare, just get there and uh, get the isolation. Yep. Those. So, bit of a... I guess that, as things stand, Scruffy has the advantage since it's kind of an auto-scroller type of thing where you just wait for Yuki to show up. Yeah, yeah that's the reason why I think Time is ahead by just a tiny bit because of the in-game time lead, but... Oh, yeah. 
I guess oh, it totally depends. Where Fifteen time seconds. Be. Yeah. Don't, don't sit yeah. in the pause I know menu. how it, I, it always gets me when the in-game time being longer actually flips and gives you the advantage. It's just so counterintuitive for uh, <laughs> roulette. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the 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 mystique of roulette. Mm -hmm. uh, Big moment for this match, for their tournament. How will they handle the sauna? Time cube not raising the temperature, just needs one KO and one poke. Long pause might be crucial. Thrown KO, will it be heard? It's not. Speak for time cube. Nicely done. Okay, going that way. He's not going snowmobile. I mean, he does, but not through the yeah, spa area. Yeah. I, I, I think he might have some memory from the match he played against me that's how i got caught if i went the other way maybe i wouldn't have gotten caught <laughs> could be could be and it's only a 15 second photo finish but a much closer one i just don't oh, wow. see his graphic taking this one one second of in-game time difference at the end there <laughs> <laughs> there's not a lot of ways you can finish this hokkaido spin-off and that's thanks to yuki We get the confirmation from our match admin, Chris X3, it's an 8 second photo finish this time, almost halving the previous one. I, I don't think Scruffy wins this one, but I don't think he should wave either. Yeah, this is a very close one. I guess we have to sweat Chris X3 for this one. Makes sense with the magnitude and what's at stake. We did miss the only rip by time cube, and uh, judging by his chat after the map, it might have been his assault rifle dropping through the floor in the morgue. He did restart right around the the time the bullet distraction was meant to happen. So if that's the case, that's really unfortunate, but looks like it's still going to be a win for him. Chris counting the, I guess the photo finish, which didn't matter in the end. I knew he was making some progress anyway. The 15 second lead by time was dwindled down to 12 seconds. So we could expect Scruffy to have slightly longer loads. And this was multiple restarts on both sides. Multiple starts on each side. I think it was two each. So it could be closer than yeah. eight. I don't think it will be two or lower. Yeah, I think we recently saw what a three second lead, which I guess a win by one second. <laughs> My final map was a, I think a four and a half second win for time in that Berlin. So any, any, any tiny margin matters. And I mean, it was, it's still a good decision to to make it a tie for two second wins and then you just as an admin aren't as burdened by the fact if you you get the calculations correct or not because it doesn't swing by four points i guess just what i'm trying to watch what happened to time cube sorry to interrupt no worries I, I'm it doesn't seem time. like his thing dropped through the floor he he puts the Kruger Meyer in his pocket and he tries to pick up the rifle it's supposed to be still inside the briefcase and he tries to pick it up and then nothing comes out of it uh <laughs> I, I don't know what just happened it's like the briefcase ate up some weird inventory glitch yeah, I'm speechless trying to just uh, imagine it. I'm definitely going to watch it back. Uh, yeah, I, I, you, I'm sure you'll go back and watch and find something, but just briefly looking at it, that's what it feels like. I would say that's unfortunate for time, but it would only really be unfortunate in the big picture if uh, he wouldn't take this win, uh, which we'll very soon find out. As Scrap is showcasing the newest variation of the 
of course going to be Dubai next, but uh, the Marcus I saw in Dubai. Oh yeah, the evolution of Marcus Iso. And this uh, extra throw is good to learn. Because sometimes you are being kept at bay by the penthouse guard. But scruffy with the, <laughs> the gun flashes. That's a really good way to quickly finish a map. Yeah. Oh, you're about to spot me? Here, take a gun flash. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the type of player to with the absolutely. right spin. Absolutely do it. Yeah. First to six points, yes. He's going to the final match of the tournament with first to six. No distinction between uh, any winners. Oh, or I, th I thought match. it was going to be uh, first to eight and ten for the final, but yeah, I guess. I honestly think, I mean, think we can talk about this for a minute as uh, Chris is typing out the photo finish results. I, I don't think it would be stupid to, to move forward to, to longer matches because the very first uh, World Championship even had first to four matches, first to six. Uh, Loses four, final or four, third place match, two, I guess, two. and then a big jump to first to ten. And but now the matches are just so much shorter. Then I think it's something to consider to maybe maybe move towards first to eight, ten, and twelve. You have the result. Yeah, Scruffy's loaded for five seconds across the two loads. Time cube for seven and a half, the same amount of loads. And so time cube wins by ten and a half seconds. Scores two four for time cube. It's a big win. So Scruffy did get a couple seconds closer in Mendoza when it didn't really matter because of the 15 second gap. But when it was much closer, just 8 seconds, it turns into 10 and Time Cube comfortably wins it. But it's already two photo finishes and now the third shortest map of the trilogy. Dubai is here in yeah. 2 minutes. Scruffy holds the record here, so you know, this might be uh, spicy. <laughs> yeah, more and more people are anticipating or dreading that map by Ambrose and it would be certainly a way to end this series Definitely. and Scruffy does feel like the favorite here uh, despite the well as, <laughs> you, you can look at this uh, small date a lot of ways time cube undefeated one try Scruffy the one loss but uh, so only three maps and of course he has the record Yeah, definitely. It's. Uh, I guess you can kind of dig into that. But in, in the practice, Scruffy also seems to like just going around gun flashing for every single guard. And so, uh, to me, that just shows like you know, comf comfortable, uh, how he comfortable he is in the map. He. So, yeah. That obviously helps into the going into this type of situation with the nerves, where you don't have to think about hmm. problems to solve because you just know the things you do work i mean yeah i don't really think that you want to think a lot about these spins uh, just in general but especially on on these short maps this late in the tournament one good thing however is that both of them have a very recent experience and i'm sorry uh to <laughs> reaper for mentioning this one but uh, thank you's previous match featured the dubai which was a uh, the map win and the match win against the Reaper and Scruffy's uh, last win in the winner's oh. bracket was also <laughs> a win against the Reaper yeah. who started the Dubai win so it's, yeah. it's closer or more equal than it seems but I mean it's just so hard to bet, bet against Scruffy here yeah definitely that's a, that's a very fun, st uh, fun stat for sure both players last Dubai was against the same player that was involved yesterday against one of the other players. Not a whole lot of connections between winners and losers bracket, but this was one, and I think the other, uh, the time cube redemption arc with the early loss against Mika in a very competitive part of the winners bracket. Of course, that was uh, Mika winning six to four, I think, and then the comeback six zero. So, of course. There's one rematch that can happen if Scruffy wins the loser's final, then he will face Fanium again. 
I don't think Time Cube and Fenium met in either this or the other tournament. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Either way, it looks like a really great final. Agent, uh, get ready. Question Dual is, is it going to be a split seconds. or an all NA? Even if it's uh, well, there will be one US player, but I just hope it's in the US friendly time zone. Here's the fourth and potentially final spin of the Bruce's bracket. Carl Ingram, explosive weapon as art crew. Marcus Tyves and SMG oh. as event star. Quicky, quicky. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. One uh, talked C3. about not thinking. This is definitely something you don't have to think much about. The only reason I'm not exactly sure if 133 can be beaten here is the very slight trip to get the event staff. If it was, I guess, three other disguise, I think Scruffy or, of course, Timecube could do it, but Scruffy is a few seconds ahead, crucially. I think this map can be won or lost on the Preacher placement yeah, or Carl, throw. Carl goes over. I didn't. He actually. He does for Time Cube. Away. That's green oh, guns. Oh no! That's still green guns, but would have very likely turned red, and that's. Oh jeez. All but oh. secures map five. You can't call that a jinx. We were just saying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Won't take responsibility for that. For that. Scruffy getting the second oh, disguise. That... Well, this is good for our viewers because uh, we can see the next map potentially. One minute and 25. Oh, wait for there we go. 26. Nice. And I think it is 126 or 127. Scruffy beats his own world record to save it wow. to map number five. <laughs> Scruffy is here to fight. And <laughs> what a map to get to come back. Um, so really well done. Yeah, there was some, I didn't want to say rigged, but that was uh, Fenium's choice of words when he saw the uh, map pool for Scruffy and thought it could go his way very easily or very easily the other way around because of the short maps, but this was anything, but we have a match, we have a fifth and potentially very likely final map with Ambrose. And it all will come down to Yeah, Cube's not map. going for the event staff, so this is definitely not going to work. And Marcus is going to hear it. Oh, and the guards are, that's over. <laughs> Orange anyway, so... I think we've had the two photo finishes and the two almost photo finishes. Uh, what was four, that? Dartmoor with the late trip. Four. And here, I guess, it was never a competitive photo finish, but the chance for that was there. Uh, nice to see and hear that uh, <laughs> the hitmap servers and uh, the cast lines up because Scruffy also counted the 127 and pressing done. And that might just be the new record. It's uh, minus six compared to his record from the last one. Yeah, that was well done. Ambrose Island. Uh, lots of zeros on the side of Scruffy. Cube has a positive win rate, five maps played, three wins. Scruff is not happy realizing that Dartmoor exists and it's a map in the map pool and such. <laughs> well, yeah, Ambrose is a map. <laughs> It's one of those maps you can lose or win or make finals with it. It's definitely going to happen here for one of these players. Yeah, I know. It's just finish button was 127. So yeah, that's a six second new record. And Scruffy beat Scruffy. <laughs> Next are our stats tweet. <laughs> yeah, if I don't mess it up, then that should that will be how it should read. Uh, maybe Career Yanni <laughs> could do it. Uh, I, I think I'd, when... Uh, I suppose it was Froot's record in Paris. Uh, I sent it out to Dubai, so I had to crawl back to Curry to please delete the other tweet because uh, we can post but not delete. Another fun fact about the 127, of course, subject to confirmation, but I 
I'll just click on this. And then this tie is the fastest ever spin because the Dartmoor record is 127. And two targets map is finishing this long or this short. Certainly very significant. The yeah. fastest ever spin. Now we gotta go and calculate the, the milliseconds to see which is actually the fastest. Yeah, you go ahead and I'll just give it a thumbs up uh, in the end. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thumbs up after a long days of work is a very good <laughs> Sure, why not? First ever Ambrose for Scruffy. I mean, I'm sure he's practiced it somewhat. At any point, it would be really important here. Time cube with three Ambroses this tournament. Uh, back to back to back at the beginning. Lost Ambrose to Yanni. Lost Ambrose to Mika. In very controversial uh, circumstances, because I think that was the uh, the C4 fire kill. And then it means deemed that it was the C4 that killed Akka, and not the Molotov cocktail. But then came back with a very dramatic uh, decider win against Ashton, and that was his third and previous Ambrose spin. But I think that's all in the past Prepare now, yourself. and all this. All that matters is this one spin, these two targets. I don't think it will be a tie or probably not a photo finish, but whoever wins this one will play Phenom in the final. What's the spin here, GK Punk? The loud Explosive is the Hippie for Noel Crest, Injected Poison as the Pirate for Akka. Easy Akka kill. Uh, Noel can be complicated. If there was ever a spin, for which the disguises and the item just line up so nicely for Shine Star, this would be the one, but the Sensor Social Hub setup is just so powerful. The fact that you can get to know so early and then after that everything is so risky until the four and a half minute mark makes sense to just start in the middle of the village. I suspect this will be identical for a very, very long time until, well, hopefully no mistakes, but until one inevitably comes, Scruffy misses the throw and gets the disguise. Or I guess the cook knocked out just a bit later. He definitely tried to line that one up, but just didn't work. He didn't even know that you can line up. It was just silent attack from behind, but... Uh... It might just be safer in the long run. Yeah, the briefcase landed in front of him, so he didn't even turn. He just directly went into picking it up. <laughs> yeah, he's changed like that. Hopefully this uh, double KO will work out for Scruffy. He tried this once, about 45 seconds before the spin. Have to have to do these KOs from a very good angle so that you're not seen, the body is not seen. And of course the target yeah the they, these knockouts are kind of staple but you can mess it up there's some eyes that just you don't expect it that feel like that felt like a bit close for comfort for scruffy but it looks like all four of the militia soldiers will be safely knocked out time cube already setting it up with the micro micro explosive I think in the Attempt. end, yeah? No, go ahead. I think in the end, Scruffy did finish it up just a bit quicker and also gets the Turian. Yeah. Uh, and that detour makes, uh, I think, Tide again. And they are both will be waiting for uh, Akka, who will bring her disguise to the toilet. The so that's, that's the reason why there's no disguise grabs. Ooh, big push for Scruffy. Oh, and uh, did that work? Uh, I would still wait a couple of seconds. If it's just the edge of the range, I think she will investigate first. I, I would say she's still she's sick now. She's kind of stuck, but she's not enforcing. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, but that's a crucial delay. I think time cube will be the first to get the kill. Because his Durian was just so much cleaner. 
Yeah, that's very crucial. Uh, Akka is way behind here. Okay, but Sc Scruffy has the disguise here. This won't result in any green guns or Akka screaming. That's big here. All these tiny risks by Scruffy keep evening up the match, which time has by execution experience. It's still anyone's game after the first kill, the null setup, and of course the delivery already made. That's one problem taken care of. Yeah, both players now have the kill. Time keep a little closer to that hippie disguise. Big detour for Scruffy, who I think oh, tries to get the C4. Oh man, he he misjudged the box. It's not even that one. If it's the C4 he's looking for, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, that's gonna be a long delay. And time cube already has the hippie disguise and the Noah setup. And I didn't see the picture in picture, but probably the bomb at the right place. This will be the one to decide the finalist. Timecube still has to dodge the uh, the university Biologist. student. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, going for the triple shot there to go through the bridge. It's probably faster, although got wrenchingly riskier. But yes, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> At this point, it seems very risky with everything else being set up. But here we go, two detonations away. Can time get and keep those green guns? That was a very early detonation by time. I mean, I'm sure no one will notice the body in time, but that was very scary. Still green, still green, and there's the finish. And I think there's the RR11 finalist, the time cube. Nicely done. Time cube tops his previous best of third place, now secures top two. After losing the RRWC winners final and then the losers final, third times the charm and uh, time cube will play a grand final this time around. It's definitely heartbreak for Scruffy, Score. but a very Six impressive to second tournament and one of the fastest players in the community already. There are very good chances that he will make a final and maybe go one beyond in the near future. Yeah, definitely. Well, as a consolation prize, he does get a new record in Dubai. So <laughs> something to be happy about, maybe. I know not right now, but you will probably will later. Yeah, I'm. It's really difficult for, for surface finishers. Sometimes the and the relief that it's over after a very long and difficult late stage of the tournament, but then the realization that you don't get to participate in the yeah, final and start absolutely. thinking about the peaks you and the bands. Just that, that like you just start to think about little things like that's the reason I'm not second place or in the final. Yeah, it can, it can get to you, definitely. Yeah, the guaranteed second place and of course the chance to. Well, I think it's 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 always going to be about dethroning Fenium. He's going to enter this match as the huge favorite and from the winner's bracket, so with all the pick and ban Absolutely. advantages. Definitely, Fenium sits atop the uh, RR kingdom right now. It's on a roll, really. Yeah, uh, he, he is on an actual streak if considering the the regular Rs, because I think 9 on console, 10 in the combined brackets, and now going for 3 in a row. Mm. Yeah, I think he's... Uh, he's uh, uh, Not to compare, but it's like we had the Ducker era where he kept going, so now we have the Fanium era, who's going to come in and take that? And it's a m lot more difficult now with the combined brackets and everything. And just the sheer skill level uh, of all the players. Yeah, but it's, I mean, Ducker's six is uh, something to beat in the very long term, but uh, this is now three for Fenium and going for four. Sorry, uh, he started with RR8 and then eight, nine, ten, and then maybe, maybe 11 on Sunday, and well, hopefully on Sunday. Let's see the confirmation for this. 
Fenium versus the Time Cube. Good friends, definitely practice partners. They know the, uh, each other's game a lot. And that's not the key, but I think a very, very important aspect to, to do well in roulette, to have, to have those friends, to have those partners to talk, to practice spins together, talk spins. And uh, this time it works out in a big way because uh, they will be playing their first match against each other in a first to eight setting grand final for the 11, RR11 title. Yeah, I, yeah I, it will be a great show. <laughs> I, I'm sure of that, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've run out of the scenes to show because, of course, there are no upcoming matches. The next one will be on Friday, uh, on Sunday. Uh, I think it's all but confirmed that these are always casted by Float7 with uh, a good assortment of the uh, shoutcasters of the community and uh, switching things up every two maps. But, uh, of course, it will be confirmed in due time. Uh, Punk, any thoughts about the match or the final or anything on your mind? No, oh, there was a great match. Uh, I was a little scared at the beginning with the time cube, but also, like I said, I, we, I saw him do the exact same thing, struggle with Haven, and then he came back. Uh, so I'm glad the match went all the way of some sort. I know we didn't get the to actual last map, but that's not really going to happen. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, very glad you joined. And uh, it, it was a match. <laughs> I, I mean, it was a full, <laughs> full match. I mean, it, it's not just uh, the couple maps that we, we thought it might happen or we were kind of close to see yeah. that for all. But uh, of course, uh, it was the back and forth, which in the end uh, benefited the uh, time cube, which uh, was kind of the expectation and just just a tiny bit away for Scruffy to make that first final, but uh, his time will come. Just like time's time, I guess, is, is here at least uh, on Sunday. He will have his try. But yeah, thanks again, Punk, for joining me. Thank you. Thank you, Chris X3, for editing this match. Yeah, no, no worries. Uh, GG's to thank you for winning and commiserations to Scruffy. And uh, well, not this channel, but see you all on Sunday for the grand final.